Hi, my name is Gigi Sohn. Greetings, my friends at Public Knowledge. I'm David Bollier. In 2001, I, along with my friends David Bollier and Lori Racine, founded Public Knowledge. 20 years ago, we thought we were on the vanguard of the future. The reason Public Knowledge was founded was because in the late 90s, a couple of laws were passed that gave public interest advocates, academics, and philanthropies great concern that information was starting to be privatized, that it was no longer part of the commons, uh, but basically being put behind paywalls. And those two laws, uh, two of the laws anyway, that gave people concern were the Sonny Bono Copyright Term Extension Act, which extended copyright terms by 20 years, and the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, which among other things, uh, made illegal the breaking of digital locks or digital rights management for any particular reason. In addition, there was growing concern, and this from industry as well, uh, that internet access providers were becoming gatekeepers to the internet and that they might favor uh, certain content services. And at the time, that issue was called open access. It is now called net neutrality, which everybody is familiar with. But even in our state of digital primitivism, we saw how copyright law was out of control, curbing our political and cultural and civic freedoms. We saw how the DMCA and international treaties were trying to create a world of total control. We knew that there was no dedicated voice for digital users and the public in Washington, DC. And we saw a Washington bubble dominated by big tech protectionists or locked in the time warp or both. And now, you know, public knowledge's issues have broadened to include privacy, antitrust, uh, other kinds of technology policy, section 230 and content moderation, but it still remains true to its core and that is access to information and making sure that consumer interests are supported and looked at by the government.